Good morning, adventurers. We've got some fun stuff planned today for our final day here in Anchorage. We actually found a fish and chips place that has half price fish and chips. Yeah, normally it's like 18 bucks. It's a fancy fish and chips place right on the water. Yeah, but, but we're going to try it and compare it to the fish and chips that we've had in England. Because yeah. that's been one of our favorite English dishes. So we'll see so how it we're compares. We're going to put it to the test. Yeah. But before that, we're going to head grab some breakfast. We are going to go to a brewery, have a couple drinks, and yeah. just kind of chill for our final day. See a couple more beautiful sights. I think oh, yeah. it's going to be the perfect last Alaskan day. But then we'll be checking out of this place here. We have a very early flight. There are only early flights out of Alaska. Either overnight or like we leave at 6 a.m. Yeah. So we have to be up at like 4 a.m. Oh, I hate it. Yeah, it's going to be brutal, but uh, probably pretty entertaining for you guys. Um, but we're going to be checking out of this place. Uh, we did a little tour of this place in our last video, but if you find yourself in Anchorage and you'd like a place to stay, we've in all the videos we've made here, we're going to be linking to the places that we've stayed. Um, we can highly recommend all these places. We haven't had a bad... Bad no, they've all been, been great, and they've all been so centrally located, which is perfect because Anchorage is actually surprisingly small. Yeah. So you can walk most places downtown. So really, if you get any place downtown, like you're all set. But these ones have been great. Normally, this one's called the Mountain View Lodge, I think, but it's been so snowy, we haven't been able to see the mountains. But instead, right now, it's just kind of a little residential area. <laughs> <laughs> Still beautiful in its own way. Yeah. All right, let's go eat. Let's go eat. We're heading into Fire Island Bake Shop. Hopefully they, they're still serving breakfast because I am beyond hungry at this yeah. point. But we found them because our last host had a bunch of cookies and scones from here and they were amazing. So I'm assuming the breakfast is gonna be just as good. This place is just buzzing with people behind the counter making all kinds of delicious baked goodies and everything smells amazing. Um, they only had a few breakfast options. We got this breakfast focaccia, uh, it's not really a sandwich, it's just kind of like some egg and some potatoes and some meat baked into the focaccia bread. Yeah, it's going to be good. Cheese. It's going to be so freaking good. They also serve lunch stuff, but we were in the breakfast mood. The egg is still a bit runny, I think, in there, so I'm going to get a big bite right here with all this cheese and all this egg. It's gonna be good. I oh, man, drop some of it. Whoa. Holy cow. That is so good. I got a little hunk of meat in there too. It's got so much flavor. Wow. This is really cool. It's really unique. You gotta be careful though, it kind of falls apart. This is easily one of the best breakfast sandwiches or pastries or whatever you want to call it that I've ever had. It's got so much flavor and the cheese is so like sharp and delicious. Did you like it? Oh, it's insane. I think the only thing I might add is some hot sauce, but that's just because oh, yeah. I like a little flair. That would but take it to the next level. I mean, the sausage, sausage is actually super spicy, so it already gives it a little, some heat. Oh yeah. man. And these were six bucks a piece, right? Six bucks, that's Absolutely it. worth it. Oh yeah. Guys, we've met up with Steven. He's gonna be hanging out with us today. He lives in Anchorage. We've been meeting a lot of locals. It's been yeah, very cool. It's been amazing. Because they know what to do. So he took us to this awesome trail in Girdwood. Yes. Is that the name of the city? Yes. And then we're gonna, so this is a short trail, so we're gonna do this, scope out the views, and then we're gonna go grab some drinks at a brewery. It's gonna be sweet. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Let's do it. And let's try not to die on all this ice. Yeah, Look at all this. There's so much ice. Dude. place is like a magical little winter fairyland. It's beautiful and it's like some of the only running water we've actually seen in a river here. Yeah, it's really cool. There's this uh, log going across right here. <laughs> we were debating uh, how much money it would take to walk across that. <laughs> I really no amount, but some somebody would do that. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> nice job. You did well that with done. class, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs>Allison can make it back up. <laughs> what is it? You got this? it. You got it. Okay, you killed it, kid. I'm not. I'm just crawling at this point, you guys. came to Girdwood Brewing, grabbed a few drinks. We were just kind of hanging out and chatting the whole time. So I didn't really film too much, but uh, I think now we're gonna head back into Anchorage. And uh, what's the place that we're going to again? Simon and Seaforce. Oh my Simon God. Seifers. Sorry. Simon Seifers. and Seaforce. Hey, puppy. <laughs> I love how you just get distracted by any cat or dog. That <laughs> There's a bigger dog. Hi, buddy. Sorry, okay. But yes, Simon and Seaforce, we're gonna go eat some friggin' fish and chips. Can you see it all? Yeah! Way to go, guys. She got stuck. <laughs> Parted ways with Steven. Steven, if you're watching, thanks so much for taking us out today. That was amazing. We'll definitely awesome. meet again when we come Don't back to Alaska. Don't tell anybody how many times I actually fell today, please. <laughs> We've come to a place called Simon and Seifert's. This is the place that has the happy hour fish and chips. So these fish and chips are normally $18 on the regular 18. menu. It's a super nice hack because the fish and chips are like $8 now. And check it out. They have this rotating Alaskan beer, $2.95 for this pint. So the question is, how will these fish and chips stack up to the fish and chips that we've had in Britain? I'm pretty skeptical, know, all right? I, I have know. a feeling it's not gonna be as good, but. It's supposed to be local cod. Yeah. The fish and chips have arrived and it is the cheekiest little serving. <laughs> you know, it's the happy hour, so it's a little bit smaller. But this is definitely still enough for one person, considering it comes with this whole boat of fries. But we got basically like two little chunks of the, um, the fish. cod. Yeah, the yeah. cod over here. It looks it looks pretty different from yeah. our England version. And we also got this uh, crab and artichoke dip yeah. over here. We figured you can't come to Alaska and not get Alaskan crab, right? So we got it in an artichoke dip because it's an affordable way to eat their crab. But it's all locally caught and sourced, so that's awesome. Yeah, so it should be pretty good. Let's yeah. give it a try. This is a pretty good hunk of uh, cod in there though. It's really dense. And the batter is pretty crunchy and crispy looking. I put a little lemon on mine. No vinegar though, I don't... They might have some, but they didn't give it to us by default. The batter is like really crispy and crunchy. It almost reminds me of something like like uh, from a corn dog or something like that. Oh yeah, like corn dog batter. Yeah, but man, that fish is cooked perfectly. It's really like nice and juicy. It's not like overdone or dry. No uh, British fish and chips, but it's still pretty dang tasty. It's not as good. 
Um, as we, we had some fish and chips in Cornwall in England. Definitely better than this. Yeah, maybe it's just different, I don't know, but it's, it's pretty tasty. It's more like what you get in a pub, I would say. The chips are definitely not what I was expecting. They're more like just typical American fries. Uh, I guess, what we've had in England anyway, have been more thicker, dense uh, chips. But I'm sure they're gonna be delicious. Yeah, I mean, they're just delicious, deliciously crispy chips. Not too bad. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied. For eight bucks, this is not bad. This tartar sauce is pretty nice. I think it's got some dill in there, mm -hmm. which adds a nice little flavor to it. But it definitely is missing the vinegar, I would say. They might, we probably should have asked for some. They probably have it. They might have had it. Yeah, but... they just didn't bring it out. We just jumped into a supermarket, grabbed some provisions for uh, tomorrow's flight. We're really tired, which is a good thing. Yeah. Because our flight is very early tomorrow. We're going to be get, waking up at about 4 a.m. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, and we got to figure out how to get to the airport. I think we'll have to call a cab. Yeah. I'm a little sad because I think it'll be a little pricey, but we'll figure it out. We should probably try to call one tonight and see if we can have one wait, waiting for us. Because we don't know if there will be any Lyft or Ubers available at that time. Yeah. We'll keep you posted. <laughs> but we've had an amazing time here in Alaska. Obviously the cold's getting a little bit old, but we're very sad to leave because the people here have been amazing. They've been so nice and the views have been magnificent. Yeah, that's been the best part so far is just hanging out with everybody, seeing all the scenery. Yeah, yeah. it's been awesome. We highly recommend visiting Alaska. We're going to visit again in the summertime for sure because mm -hmm. uh, everyone says it's amazing here in the summertime. But I think we're going to leave you guys here and uh, call it a night, go home, pack up, and probably take a warm bath because it's freaking freezing out here. Freezing! Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.